Are you looking for the best pizza in Chicago? Or the best river cruise? Well, this is the video for you. This is part one of my two-part Chicago travel guide. I was able to go over the summer to visit Chicago over four days and visit different neighborhoods, pizzerias, try different river cruises, in so much attractions. It was a fun-filled four days, I'm not gonna even lie. But there's so much to do in the city. So if you're going for a weekend getaway or a week, there is something to keep you busy, trust me. Get ready and follow along as I go on three Chicago River tours and go to three Chicago pizzerias to find the best one. But what might be the best for me may be different for you. And there is something unique and interesting about each one of these places. So please follow along and let's go on a journey to Chicago. Getting to Chicago is usually easy. You take a plane from wherever you're going to O'Hare and then take the old train into the city. But because of COVID hours, I ended up having to take a taxi into downtown Chicago, which cost me around $55. The next morning started bright and early at 360 Chicago's observation deck where I went for sunrise yoga in the morning. For $25, you can do sky yoga 1,000 feet up in the air on the 94th floor of the John Hancock building. After you're done yoga, feel free to stick around and go to one of the most adrenaline pumping features, the tilt. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm about to do this. This is so ridiculous. Scary. I know you're connected, but it looks like you're gonna fall. Hello from the 360 Chicago. I finally made it here really late last night. Like I'm very tired, but I woke up early for yoga at the top of 360 Chicago with beautiful views of Chicago and then did the tilt, which definitely woke me up because now my adrenaline is pumping. It tilts you and then slowly brings you to 45 degrees over the city of Chicago. I don't want to even know how high up I was. I'll probably put that over here. It was pretty darn high. I got scared at the 45 degree mark. But you can see four states on a clear day and see out for 50 miles. And this place is really a spot you need to check out. And if you like doing a wellness activity while you're gone, do the yoga or sunset yoga. Uh, it happens every week. But for now, I'm just gonna get some coffee and then go back to the hotel because I'm dead. Now this is how you get around. Bikes in the city, I love it. Just rushing to get there. I can make it, I can make it. Oh, I'm tired, I just wanna to get to the boat. So I just had a whirlwind of a morning. Now I had to rush back to check out of my temporary accommodation because today I'm checking into the Acme Hotel. But yeah, then I had a tour at noon, so I had to rush back, get on a bike. That's why you may see I'm sweating and a little bit out of breath because I'm going on that big red boat out there. What is that boat? That boat is actually an old fire boat that now is in use as a historical and architecture tour. And it goes through the river so you can get a really interesting view and perspective of Chicago's amazing architecture, which is one thing that they're very much known for and their food, which will come later because then I will have a food tour. It is a busy day and I got in late last night at 1 a.m. because it was kind of difficult to get an Uber here so I had to just get a normal taxi. I'm so glad once I get on this Boat. I'm sitting down and I'm having something cold. We're almost there. Have you ever wanted to ride on an actual piece of history? Well, this Chicago history and architecture tour will be just a thing for you. Ride on the flagship vessel, the Fred A. Bus, which was an active fireboat for the Chicago Fire Department from 1937 until 1981. This was the first of three river cruises. I particularly like this one because they went on Lake Michigan. This tour was awesome because not only did you get to learn how the skyline of Chicago and the river walk change over time, but you get to see the skyline from Lake Michigan. 6,000 recreational vessels here. And that surprises a lot of people because you don't normally associate an inland state with quite so many boats. 
But even before people had recreational boats. Who knew there was so much maritime history and activities in Chicago? As we headed towards the canal locks, I was so surprised to learn from our tour guide that the Chicago River actually flows backwards and it was man-made and engineered to flow backwards. Why? To protect the water supply of Lake Michigan. The river was being mistreated during an industrial boom and the sewage and other trash was being dumped into the Lake Michigan. So they decided to reverse it. I particularly like this tour because I thought it was well-rounded. It gave you modern things like what to do after the tour, as well as learning about the history around you. 4.1 million square feet of showroom floor space. That meant when it was built, it was the largest building on the planet and it would remain so until the Pentagon was constructed. seven miles of hallway and corridor in Chicago. You can see the London house and some people up there uh, if you want a really interesting and unique view looking west of the main branch and a, and a really good drink, go up to the London House after the tour. It's a really cool place to go. So just about to do the self-guided finger licking food tour and the first stop is Gina's Pizzeria for a slice of their famous pie. Let's go. Finger Licking Foodie Tours sent you an email with all the information you need and an audio guide to take you to each pizzeria. What makes Gino's E so special is the secret ingredients. The conditioner for the dough makes the crust out of this world. Before you leave, make your mark and sign the wall. I'm in such a rush today. I am heading to Pizzeria Uno now, the second stop on finger licking foodie tours. It's a self-guided tour right now because of COVID. But yes, I just had my first Gino's East of Chicago original pizza. And it's a deep dish Chicago pizza cheese. It was so good. I only had one slice, but I have a full pie. I mean, I don't know if anybody eats like a full one of these on a food tour and then eat another, but I'm now heading to Pizzeria Uno and we'll see what they have to offer. But right now, if it's this much, we're gonna be, we're, I'm gonna have a full freaking belly at the end of the store. Pizzeria Uno claims to have made the original deep dish pizza in 1943. If you recognize it, it may be because you have an Uno Pizzeria near you. So after having one of the largest deep dish pizzas, actually my first deep dish pizza I ever had, I'm now here at Pizzeria Uno to try theirs with sausage on it. I'm so excited. Pizzeria Uno looks super cool. The other one had like graffiti, hipster vibe. People like Lady Gaga, Chris Rock and all that come there when they're in town. But I like this one. It has a little bit of an old school feel to it. And I bet the pizza is going to be pretty good. Okay, so I'm here trying the sausage pizza with the cheese on the bottom. It's so good. I literally don't know why I've never had deep dish pizza, but I'm glad I had it in Chicago. And at Pizzeria Uno, the original one, since 1943, it's been here and it's been cooking this amazing sausage pizza. And they've been getting the same sausage from the same guys since they opened, so you know it's good. Mm. <laughs> Okay guys, now I'm at the third place. I'm at Lou Elnetti's Pizzeria and I put some pepper in everything and this is the sausage pizza. Mm. Look at that. Mm. I think this may be my favorite one. I think it is my favorite one. So good, I don't even have words. After eating my weight in a ton of Chicago deep dish pizza, I headed to Chicago Architecture Foundation Center's River Cruise aboard Chicago's First Lady. This was my second of three Chicago River tours that I was doing. This is the more traditional and famous scenic boat tour through the city for architectural lovers. It definitely takes you through a deep dive of the architectural history of Chicago. 2016 by DKL Architects.
Wondering where to stay when you're in Chicago? Well, I stayed at the Acme Hotel Company. This was a hip spot located right in downtown Chicago, close to all the attractions. All right, guys, I'm about to show you my king suite at the Acme Hotel Company. Here we go. So first, there is a living room area, living space, which is really nice with a couch as well as a chair. Plenty of table space as well. I love the touches of decor they have here. It just is very like hip and modern, makes you feel like you're in the city. I love these lights over here. They're all different colors. <laughs> There's a microwave as well as a stocked fridge right now for me. Super glad. Thank you, Acme. They bring you coffee every morning. There's two TVs, one in the living space area. And I have to show you the view. Hopefully you can see it. And the Sears Tower is right over there. Following me to the bedroom. It is very nice. I've been really enjoying this king size bed. And it's very comfy. There's also a robe. I love this touch as well. And thank you, Acme, yet again. They gave me a little welcome gift. There's some cookies in here and brownies, as well as a t-shirt and some other knickknacks I really love. And yes, a floor length mirror so I can see how I look for the day. But yes, I love that there's a divided space. They even have this curtain that closes. So if you had other guests or another friend that was with you, and they want to watch TV, at least you wouldn't be bothered while they're watching it. Then is the bathroom. I love this. <laughs> I love this. And they have amazing lather products. A shower with a raining shower head. So it just is very hip. I love this place so far. When you walk into the elevator, you hear like rock out music. And they also love the coffee they give you in the morning. Let me show you one sec. They give you a thermos of coffee that you can bring with you for your day exploring the city. So it's like perfect. And I love this. See my favorite thing about Alexa? Alexa, why am I single? Maybe it's because you are too awesome to share with anyone else. That's it. This is another one I love. Alexa, am I beautiful? I'm sure you're a knockout. But take it from someone with no physical form. Beauty really does come from within. Yes, just have some time to now relax. I might eat some of the pizza for my food tour and then call it a night and then see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going with Urban Kayaking through the river by kayak, which should be interesting because a little over 10 years ago, people would not go near the Chicago River because it was super polluted. And now they've had a very concerted effort to clean up the Chicago River and now it's safe to go kayaking in. So this should be definitely an experience. I always love seeing a city by the water and I love kayaking if you haven't found that out already. But yes, please leave in the comments if what your favorite question is to ask Alexa because I'm getting a kick out of her. So if you're enjoying this video of things to do and vlog of Chicago, please subscribe to my channel. The next morning, I started my morning off right with a bike ride along the lakefront trail in Chicago that covers 18 miles of waterfront along Lake Michigan. It was on the way to my third river tour with urban kayaks, a little bit more adventurous, don't you think? Heading down the Chicago River, something that used to be polluted and is now a beautiful way to, to see the city. It used to be much more narrow, but still, uh, it was said that you could see small creatures go from one side to the other side without getting wet. It was also said that if you went to Bubbly Creek, it was not uncommon to come across a bird. Paddle along the Chicago River Walk, completed in 2016, now a place of fun, restaurants, dining, you name it.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that journey. What was your favorite Chicago River cruise? And what is your favorite Chicago pizzeria? Please let me know in the comments. Also, if you don't want to miss part two, please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you know when it comes out. I'm so excited to take you along. I had an amazing time in Chicago, and this is just the beginning of this trip.